Hi, I'm John from Chatmice, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a Telegram chatbot without writing a single line of code. I will explain how you can set up a greeting message when somebody starts a conversation on Telegram, how we can automatically reply to questions on Telegram, and how we can send the chat to a human when your chatbot does not understand a question. Let's dive in. So the first thing that you need to do is to create a Xenio account. And Xenio is the chatbot builder I'm going to use for this tutorial. And I will also add the link in the description. And the reason why I'm using Xenio is that with Xenio you can create one chatbot and put it on more than 10 channels such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, but also Telegram. So just go to this link, click on sign up, and then here you can fill in all the information of your account. But I already have an account, so I will just click on sign in, choose my right account, and click on sign in again. And once you are logged in, you can just click on create new bot. And then Xenio automatically creates a bot for you with a complete example flow in it. But before we're going to change the flow, we need to go to settings. And here we can change our bot name. And we're going to change this to Telegram chatbot so that we can easily find it in the future. So then go to build. And then we can start by changing our chatbot. So the first thing that we will do is that we're going to set up a greeting message when somebody starts a conversation. And this is also called the welcome message. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this message and then we're going to delete it because we don't need it. And then we're going to change the text of this first message. So here we can say, hey, and then we type in two brackets and we say first underscore name and this will automatically capture the first name of the user in telegram and because we're using telegram we already have that information we do not need to ask the first name of the user we already have it so then we say hey first name I'm the chatbot of company XYZ and just fill in the name of your own company here and do you want to talk to sales or support and then just hit save and then it is saved and then we have two buttons and the first button is for sales and the second button is for support so just click on the first option and then we will change the button title to sales we will remove the alternate text because we also don't need that. And the trigger text expression will also be sales. And then we can just hit save. And we can do the same thing for support. So we will change the button title to support, remove this, and also set the trigger text expression to support. So then we will click on the first button clicked and we will change the name to sales and we can do the same thing for the second button clicked we will change it to support and then here we will say all right i will connect you to someone at sales save it and we can remove the rest in this block also remove here this GIF at the support block. And here we can basically say the same thing. All right, I will connect you to someone at support. And now we also actually want to send them to someone from sales or to someone from support. And in order to do that, we need to go back to our settings. So if you click on settings, then you click on team and then here you can see all the members that have access to your Xenio account. And what you can do here is that you can invite team members to Xenio. So for example, I can just type in an email. So I just type in my personal email 
and then also I can give them a specific group so I can assign this user to the sales group or to the support group so I can just say sales and then I can give them all the permissions that they need so you can just click on all these checks to give them all the permissions but maybe they don't need that that's something you need to check for yourself and when you've gave them the right permissions the right group and it's also the right email you can click on send invitation and then that person will get an email and when they click on that button they can create their own Xenio account and they will become part of your team and because they're part of your team you can assign them to groups so you can assign them to sales or to support so it's good to know that so then when, when we go back to build then we also actually want to give the conversation to someone at sales or support and in order to do that you need to click on this tools icon here add a new action go for the flow and choose for the set chat operator state then you need to set the mode to operator takeover and here you can set the operators group so when you have more people inside Xenio then you can assign the sales group or the support group here but because I don't have any group right now I'll just leave it as is and then we can assign an operator that is less busy and also select only operators that are currently online and then we can hit save and basically we can do the same thing for support so we just clone it and then drag it over to support and again if you have your groups ready then you can just get the group that you need so this is a very basic welcome message hey Joran I'm the chatbot of company XYZ do you want to talk to sales or support but we also need to send this message when somebody starts a conversation with us so in order to do that we need to add a global bot operation so here you can click on this icon view global bot operations and then we can add a bot operation and then we will go with the text bars and if you then scroll down we can set the control expression and the target variable so the control expression are the actual words we want to reply to so in our case it will be hey or hi or hello so if they type in hey or hi or hello and if I zoom in a bit you will see this element here this means or if they say that, then we can automatically reply with this message. So the target variable will be last user message. We need to bypass the input state. And the behavior will be your main bot behavior, which is also here. And the interaction will be the start interaction. Then you can hit save. And now we can also test this out inside Xenio. So when you click on preview your bot, we can start the preview and then when I'm saying hey you can see hey preview I'm the chatbot do you want to talk to sales or support then I say sales and it says all right I will connect you to someone at sales that is working so now we can create a new flow and automatically reply to a question so you can just click on this plus here click on yes and this will add a new flow to our chatbot and when you click on the settings here we can also determine the name of this flow and in our case this will be opening times and we can hit save and this will just give an answer when somebody is asking what are your opening times or when are you open so this will be a very simple answer with we are open every day from 9 to five basically that's it but to let this respond to certain questions of the user we actually need to use the AI feature of Xenio so what you need to do is in the top bar you need to click on AI and then we can add an intent which will be called opening times and the intent language will be English and then if you go to the second tab auto train you can enable 
automatic training. And this is a great feature because now when the chatbot thinks anyone is asking about your opening times, he will use that question to improve itself. And by doing this, your chatbot will get smarter and smarter and you don't have to do anything yourself. So this is great. Just click on save, click on the intent, and then we can add training phrases so the chatbot can actually understand the questions of the user. So we can just type in, when are you open? What are your opening times? And are you open in the weekend? And then if you go to train and test, then we can say, when are you open? And then you see that it detects the intent opening times. And this is the one we just created. So now if we go back to build, we can add another global bot operation, click on add bot operation. But instead of going for the text parse, we're going to be with NLP processing. And then if you scroll down, then we can type in the intent opening times, again, bypass the input state, and then we'll set the behavior to opening times and the interaction to start interaction. And then click on save. And again, we can preview this. So when I type in, what are your opening times? It says, we are open every day from nine to five. And that's it. Now, if anyone is asking about your opening times, your chatbot will automatically reply to it. The last thing that we're going to do is respond with a message when the chatbot does not understand the question. And this is what is called a fallback interaction in Xenio. So if you are at your main bot behavior, you will see the fallback interaction here. And this message will be sent when your chatbot does not understand a question. So we can just change the text and we can say, sorry, I didn't understand you. Do you want me to forward this to a human? Click on save. And then when you click on this block, we can clone it. And then we can set this one to the yes. And then we can clone this again for the option for no. So we have the fallback interaction. Then we can add a action here. And we will go with the quick reply button. So this will be the option for yes. It will trigger for yes. And we will send it to the yes block and click on save. And then we can clone this button for the no option. And we'll send it to the no block. Then if someone says, yes, I want you to forward it to a human, then you can say, okay, I am sending you to one of my human friends click on save and then we can use the operator takeover chat that we used before so we can just clone it and drag it over to the yes block and if someone says no we are just going to say no worries so now when the chatbot does not understand the question it will say sorry i didn't understand you do you want me to forward this to a human and if they say yes then the chatbot says okay i'm sending you to one of my friends and if they say no, then the chatbot will say no worries. But also, if you go to your opening time flow, you will also see a fallback interaction here. And this is because with Xenio, you can have a separate fallback interaction per flow. But we do not want that. So we want only one fallback interaction for our complete chatbot. So what we need to do is we can just click on this message, delete it, then add a new action, go with flow, and choose for the include behavior interaction. 
And then we can set the behavior to your main bot behavior and the interaction to fallback interaction. And what this does is that you're basically telling Xenio that we want to use the fallback interaction from our main bot behavior. And that's the one we set up here. And now that we have created our chatbot, it's time to connect it to Telegram. So here in the top bar, just click on publish, then choose Telegram, and then you will see that you need an API token. And in order to get that API token, you need to have a conversation with Botfather on Telegram. So if you go to Telegram, you can just search for Botfather, click on it, click on the start button, and then you can type in slash new bot, or you can just click on slash new bot here. Then it says, all right, a new bot, how are we going to call it? I'm going to call it Chatomize Telegram bot. Good. Choose a username for your bot. So that will be the same. And done. And then here you will find your API token. So when you copy this API token, you need to go back to Xenio, paste it over here. Click on save and then click on publish. And now your bot is connected to Telegram. So if you go to Telegram, you can just click on this link here and click on start. And it says, hey Joran, I'm the chap out of company XYZ. Do you want to talk to sales or support? Then I type in sales. All right, I will connect you to someone at sales. And then if you go back to Xenio and go to conversation, you can have a direct conversation with a human. So let's say I'm now a support agent. Then I will say, hello, how can I help you? And then this will appear on Telegram. Hello, how can I help you? Then I can type something back. I want pricing information. And then here it says, I want pricing information. And then when you have the conversation and as a support agent, you solve their problem, what you can do is just click on those three dots here, click on conversation and click on hand over to Xenio. And what you then do is you give the power back to the chatbot. So then the chatbot is activated again. So I can click on it. And now the chatbot is activated again. So when I type in, what are your opening times? Then it says, we are open every day from nine to five. And when I will just type in something weird, then it says, sorry, I didn't understand you. Do you want me to forward this to a human? And that's how you create a Telegram bot without writing a single line of code. If you have any questions on how to use Xenio or how you can automate your messages on Telegram, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.